एकाच मिनिटात आरतीला सुरुवात करतो आहोत ब्रह्मासि अवपश्चात्तात् ब्रह्ममयहा जगदिदंत्वत्तो भूमिरापो नलो नीलो नभाहत्रयातीतहाहत्रयातीतहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाहाह
Shivasutaya Vindanashine Shivasutaya Shri Varadamutaye Namaha
Hello everyone. I I am Viraj. I welcome you at the Arati hosted at Nana Prabodhini Prashala Pune. Uh, in the 
in the past few days we have had uh, a couple of guests a couple of eminent guests uh, to speak about national integration and today we are joined by another such eminent personality but uh, before moving on to uh, the main event now uh, i request everyone to greet her please we are very eager to listen to uh, air marshal mrs padma bandopadhyay but before that i request tushar sir to give the opening remarks and uh, introduce our chief guest today welcome all of you the great freedom fighter lokmanya tilak enhanced social nature of the ganesh festival that is celebrated in bhadrapada he cherish the belief that fight for freedom will prove to be successful only after integration of the society the festival that started off on its initiative churned the society and helped various social denominations come together gnana prabodhini also has contributed to a construct uh, in a constructive manner in its own way in the celebration of the festival honorable prime minister also mentioned the contributions of nana prabodhini once in his famous man ki baat program the energetic culture of dol tasha groups emerged thanks to prabodhini's efforts amongst others by nature jp volunteers have been in innovating new social enterprises to elevate the stature of the ganesh festival we welcome air marshal padma bandopadhyay ji on behalf of gnana prabodhini prashala we would like to share a few words about gnana prabodhini before we go any further rupa palatu desha se that is let's change the condition of the nation was the mantra with which jp's volunteers have been working for past 59 years in the field of education research rural development health and social organization many dignitaries like former prime minister hrd minister chief ministers industrialists and scientists have blessed the work of nana prabodhini its students now span out in diverse fields like energy health and other sectors to great heights current chief of the army staff general m m narawne is an alumin and is in contact with the studies and research conducted in this place jp's efforts in the field of rural development and pune in pune district as well as marathwada region have been well recognized there is a constant effort in jp that everyone's intelligence must get devoted fully for the cause of nation the education they received should result into life long commitments towards society so that they may be able to find solutions to the problems faced by the country this sanskara is meant for all students teachers researchers organizers and other volunteers at jp the founder of gnana prabodhini institute that runs this school dr v v pense Appa Pense was an accomplished psychologist. He recognized the role of nurturance of human abilities in nation building and adopted the mantra of motivating intelligence for social change to start the school. Appa Ji has put forth the thought that the impact making and novel activities that enhance knowledge and skills of students must be accompanied by the activities that create an affiliation in students mind towards the people of the nation he highly valued the study tours which promote cultural exchange amongst the denizens of various states the tra tradition was continued after him the these two years the covid pandemic has made this impossible that has not deterred the volunteers of this institute from finding innovative means to keep connecting last year we invited 22 families from nine different states to join us this enterprise was kept at a lower profile thanks to the pressing second wave of covid 
this year we are planning to connect with eminent persons as well as 100 families national integration is not an object that gets created on its own travels in railway families meeting off with each other study tours and participation in festivals create quite a few experiences that give rise to emotions these emotions transformed into feeling of national integration those who are not in the position to travel these days not many people are able to should also be able to connect with the brothers and sisters from other states to know about their living styles ways for this precise reason we are arranging the virtual ardi enterprise we believe that our students must know about eminent persons from different states and see them as role models therefore this year we are inviting seven persons from different states in front of our students and 100 persons in front of families for arti program today we have invited air marshal padmashri dr mrs padmavati bandopadhyay she is retired director general medical services indian air force one of the highest honors padmashri awardee recognizing a lifetime of work she has the she was the first woman to be promoted to the rank of air marshal in the indian air force she joined air force in 1968 and she is a surgeon by profession yet she had to go through the training related to air force before her academic and career introduction let us see how she was motivated for entering this field her experience with her mother's illness with tuberculosis and hospital hospitalization at safar safdarjang hospital and having a neighboring lady doctor with the same name as her were early motivations for her to become a doctor a girl from a south indian family who grew up in delhi married a bengali and sir all over the country is the true indian personality to speak on the subject of national integration a women's pioneering advances in the area that is considered male dominated are remarkable she is the second woman in the indian armed forces to be promoted to the three star rank she has sought mbbs in af and afmc uh, md uh, pune university md uh, physiology both from both the things from pune university and phd again in physiology uh, from bharatiyar university seeking phd after being a surgeon is creditable long list of her achievements is impressive vishishta seva medal vsm this award was given to both mr and mrs bandopadhyay during indo pak war of 1971 the first ever husband and wife team to be awarded at the same investiture parade ati vishishta seva medal avsm and param vishishta seva medal pvsm in addition there are many other awards as diamonds on her crown like the first afwwa trophy for being the first lady to conduct research in the icy arctic 1991 and over 15 to 16 other awards from various private institutions dr padma bandopadhyay still has some landmark achievements as such uh, such as first lady aerospace medicine specialist in india in 1975 she has been the first indian lady to have conducted research in the ic arctic in 1989-90 also first lady air marshal of the indian air force and first lady director of general medical services of indian air forces she was responsible for delivering three cases of premature babies and used her practical knowledge of her profession in improvising her own in her own incubator for them she and her crew tried her level their level best to create the incubator for the baby and the baby survived it was mainly due to her initiative perseverance and untiring energy that an officer's family ward was open on the station and a healthy baby clinic started functioning presently she is busy providing primary health care to underprivileged and economically backward section of the society through telemedicine under the aegis of vivekananda home of services in the far flung areas of uttar pradesh 3 days a week 
and lastly it's quite credible creditable that after retirement she keeps herself busy teaching underprivileged children up to 8th class free of cost to improve their academic performance with this i would request air marshal dr mrs padma bandopadhyay to share her thoughts and have a word with students and crew of gnana prabodhini thank you very much gana prabodhini it is an honor to be here it's a real uh, i mean and that too on lord ganesha chaturthi uh, i i also grew up in pune so i know very well ganpati pappa moriya pujya varsha lokriya i want to i mean uh, my pronouns to lord ganesha the vignaharta and seeking his blessings to one and all around the world now the topic today is national integration now what does it mean the foundation of our national life is on common citizenship but our country there is a unity in diversity there are they have to provide equality justice which has to be social economic and political justice and fraternity amongst all communities and freedom of religion now is it happening it's all there in the constitution well, that's why if it was happening there's no national integration needed so we have a national nic it stands for national integration council why is it necessary to address the problems of communalism regionalism casteism and language problems who are the people the pe the people are operating is or the politicians and you no know, statesmen and uh, i mean important figures in public life and uh, those are the people who help to bridge all these gaps what is the purpose why is it there to find ways to counter the above mentioned problems and also to provide social equality and also economic equality is it utopian talk no no it is possible but how is it we have to work very hard now let me start all these things my life experience i'll share with you uh, well first is one of the main things come in india is color now our president i mean first vice president uh, sarvepalli radhakrishnan and then later president of india on whose name the teachers day is celebrated he said indians are the best baked people we are neither dark we are neither fair okay so that's a color part of it but there's a lot of differences there when i was born at tirupati i'm on the darker side naturally a girl on the darker side kya hoga bhai what will happen so there is a song in bangla which says i'll just gungunati no oh krishna kalu andar kalu ami o to kalo shoki to bi kano amar balo bashile na a dark girl is saying krishna is loud darkness is loud but why not me this is the problem we are facing it every time my nani said don't worry golden diamonds will shine on her my mother was quite upset that's okay it's a part of life then again this color doesn't go we have seen it in the great uh, our matrimonial advertisement what do, what does it say fair and convent educated i don't wonder what is fair and convent educated has to do with that but we are focused on color i don't know why we are like that the, then once i was called for fair and lovely something something the first thing i said please change the name to from fair and lovely to anything else but not fair and lovely it's a very Uh, it, the connotation is not very comfortable, you know. That means the dark people are not part of the system at all. No, no, no. India consists of brown people. Not uh, all Kashmiris are there. Not all are dark. We are a mixture of everybody. That's a diversity of which we should be proud of. Okay. This first is the color discrimination. Then we come to the caste. God knows who made the caste. In my view, caste 
I don't know, I may be wrong. I mean, I've not read much, but caste is something depending upon your profession. In the same houses, there were scholars, there were people who were working, there were banyas, there, everybody was there. But over a period of the last thousand years, when we were under foreign rule, of course, we should not blame others. We are ourselves to be blamed for whatever we are. This has become a rigid system that by, by your birth, your caste is determined. If you want to know the name of a Brahmin is not just by birth, it is Dvija. You have to take second janma, meaning second birth, in which that means you are learned. You learn your Veda, Vedanta, Upana, Upanyas, all those things. Then only you have to have the knowledge. Then only you can become a Brahmin, not just by uh, my father is a Brahmin, I am a Brahmin. And first of all, it should not exist at all. Okay, it is there. So, what does it create? Now, I, now I'm going to tell my example. Uh, at Tirupati, uh, the Chota idols, what we call in uh, Tamil Utsava Murti, it used to go around in the evening, you know, around the uh, uh, temple. Every one of us, irrespective of the caste, we used to do arti, they used to give prashad, maybe a kela denge, ya barfi denge, jo bhi tha. It was a part of our life. We grew up like that. There was no caste difference there. Everybody did arti. Nobody said you are this and you are that. Nobody said that. But Another example, in those days, I don't know whether you ever heard of this word, military hotel, I don't know, uh, that is long, long time back, which means it is run by who are not Brahmins, okay, and they serve non-veg food. So, naturally, I didn't know what was a military hotel. I went and ate lovely dosa idli cook, khaya masti me. When I came back, my nani asked me, Are, uh, breakfast nahi chahi, nahi, nahi bhook nahi laga, kyun, kya hua? A child doesn't tell lies, you know. I said, I ate in that so-and-so hotel. Oh my God, she was so angry. She put, got me out of the house, put ganga pani, khup, pitai kiya, that's how it is impure because eating in that hotel is impure. I don't understand it, but well, it was like that. And even today, it hasn't changed much. It is condition is almost the same. Then we have the, you know, uh, traveling. When I was traveling from, it's something very sad. I felt very sad. Um, I was traveling from, I think, Lucknow to Delhi, if I'm not wrong. Uh, six seats are there, you know, the unreserved them. Thin, thin. Uh, the sixth seat was vacant and a well-built, I mean, nice, well-built, hardworking type of a personality was sitting down on the ground, on the floor, Farshme Betawata, and a ni lady nicely decked up and very smart, she was sitting. I was wondering why this chap is sitting down. So uh, this lady went in. So I asked the rest of the fellows. I told this fellow, please come up and sit in the seat. He won't even talk. Then the others said, no, no, no. She is the Jamindar Ni and he's the worker in that uh, Jamindar ka water estate. He can't sit because he's from a lower caste. What is this nonsense? You buy the ticket, but the fellow can't sit. This is caste for you. It is still existing. It has not gone away. Okay, this little bit here and there are there, which you youngsters should work hard to remove. Even thought should not come. Forget action. Even the thought should not come, you know. Then I'll give you another example. Uh, my brother, who was living at Tirupati, came to Madras. He has never seen water. Oh, God. This fellow went to sw swim in the Arabian Sea and he drowned. Now, what happened? The poor fishermen took him out. They didn't ask for his caste. They didn't ask for his name. They saved him. This is humanity. This is the human values, which we should know. We don't go with a, a board written that I'm so-and-so caste. I don't know why we are like that. We have to change. We are changing, but the change is, I mean, we have to be much more faster and we should make this India as the most beautiful and prosperous nation. And it can only happen when we remove all this, you know, Altu Faltu Ke Chije should be out. Okay. Now, at Halwara, when I was posted there as an Air Force officer, this is something funny. Uh, I felt very funny because the rest of them were uneducated. It's okay. It doesn't matter. My boss used to call me for dinners. I mean, our family. And he never called anybody else. Only us, what is so great in us? I'm the junior most officer. Anyway, after some time, one day I couldn't stop. So I asked him, I mean, I asked the lady, I said, Madam, what did she say? 
you are bandhu padya you are a brahmin she has called us for the shad ka you know puja ka khana vagera khane ke liye after that i never been to their house i said thank you very much we are not in this uh, place you know we are not that sort of people to be uh, categorized into a community or b community we should not we are all one that is what is most important as an officer as an air force officer uh, wherever i was uh, which were place smaller big i used to call each one of my colleagues i mean juniors uh, junior especially uh, irrespective of the caste creed or whatever what were on their birthday or wedding and so something like that we used to sit and have the first cup of tea and some mithai with them that is very important it's not a caste they're all my brothers there's no question of caste coming in here why are we at it i i don't know i really don't know but the funniest part of the story is when i retired and came back, came to here came here to up the first question they ask you is not that you are a doctor or whatever whatever what they aapka caste ka hai aapka jati kya hai main bolti hu mera jati human hai main manushya hu rakshas nahi hu ye mera jati hai aur koi jati mera nahi hai so this should go you I mean i tried my best all of us have tried our best but you young children must work very very hard and remove this which is a real real dabba on our uh, civilization what a wonderful indian civilization i don't know why are we at it i know answers but it is very uh, heartbreaking that's what happens you know now the cultural differences each one of us are from different different places each one of us have got different cultures but instead of accepting and learning from one another but we many a times we make maja you know make fun of one another you know like when i came to delhi first time what was i was told a small child four years or something like that what would say madrasi kali hai madrasi kali hai this is how the they will react what madrasi what kali god knows what happened anyway this is how we have to change we should not even today i don't know about maharashtra in north india when they say north eastern people what do they say a chinki aise a chinese you know it hurts me very very badly because i have gone all over we are a fauji we have gone all over india it's all the same chinki i ho kali ho we are all indians but why make fun of them the person who is made fun of it hurts them very very badly you must have seen the kbc program there was on manipuri girl there was some question on manipur only she asked for audience poll why did she ask for that then the whole lot said manipur then uh, amita bachan ji asked why are you why did you ask this you are a manipuri girl she said no i they had told at least that i am an indian that's what i wanted to do nothing more i know it is manipur but i wanted the audience to realize that i am an indian that's all so we have to be told because we don't know that place that doesn't mean you are not an indian many places we do not know so what not when the northeast people we make fun of we name is some people do that we should not do that cultural differences are plenty now like like we put uh, up to maharashtra all girls put flowers isn't it in the veni we also put it in south india also we put it so in delhi also i used to put but when i used to go to college oh my god they'll take out the flowers and sing some songs pata nahi abc ki kya bolte the mujhe nahi pata kyunki i didn't know much hindi in those days you know now uh, i studied in a tamil school so i only knew tamil that's all about it okay so it was very tough because here it is not considered as i mean something nice to put flowers but it doesn't mean you make fun of others you should not make fun of others no it's not correct at pune itself i tell you during one of this ganesh puja only my ward and ma pundalik she said padmavati you will only come to do the prashad because i was the only south indian girl and the rest are all north indians i asked madam but why madam let everybody come onar kol ko prashad vagera banayenge she said no wo log lick karte hain you know when they cook and all that they lick but whereas a prashad is not to be licked at all when we make prashad when you all make prashad you don't taste it you have bath with lot of shraddha we make it it's a cultural difference there's nothing I mean, I don't know whether it's anything wrong out there, but that's what she said. Because they lick, I don't want to call them. I want you only to be here so that you make the pressure. These little little differences are there. You know, there will be a lot of difference. My marriage again. Uh, well, 
uh, as you all know, Bengalis are totally non-vegetarians. Okay, and I'm a Tamil Brahmin. You know, the Iyer community. We are totally, totally vegetarians. You no, know, not even piyaj lesson. Ab shadi me kya khana banega? Well, we sorted it out. Morning was South Indian marriage with sambar and rasam, and evening was march fish, whatever, whatever. You know, so both sides were very happy, and they went. But these little, little things create problem in in the community and we try to separate out you know ki ye wo machhi khata hai isse dur raho aisa kuch bhi nahi hota wo ghar mein apna khata aapka to kuch takleef nahi de raha hai na so why are we getting into all this chota 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 things you know it's not fair to get into these things and we should stop this differentiations this small little little differentiation blow up it's more than a nuclear bomb I mean, the states, घर में लड़ाई होती है विलेज में लड़ाई होती है देन द स्टेट्स फाइट एवरी वन इज फाइटिंग फॉर वॉट नथिंग बेसिकली नो रीजन बट वी आर ऑल फाइटिंग अननेसेसरी नो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स टू मोस्ट ऑफ एस विथ स्मॉल लिटल लिटल थिंग्स नो द क्लास डिफरेंसिएशन रिच एंड पुअर वॉट एवर यू मे से even in russia where there's no class difference there is a class difference in india we have the rich and poor there's a big difference in that when they say it when they talk they will talk to themselves and your school is doing the greatest help in you know removing these class differences when i went to afmc i found this difference because um, i'm from a you know Uh, local school, uh, government school, and they're all Fauji's, Fauji ke bache the. They're all very smart. They know to speak English. They know to dance. They, I mean, they can swim. They can play. All that they knew, and I knew nothing. So, ham to behenji ban gaye. कुछ भी नहीं आता है ना डांस करना आता है ना स्विमिंग आता है ना कुछ इंग्लिश बोलना ही थोड़ा थोड़ा करके एफ एम सी में सीखा बट दैट कॉलेज वेल एनी वे Pune is the seat of knowledge. If you go to Pune University, you have all seen Ma Saraswati there, isn't it? The statue. It's a seat of knowledge. There's no doubt on that. If I am what I am, almost, if not eighty percent, it is because of AFMC. They taught me everything. Pakka uh, Madrasi, you know, usko ham human being bana ke capable banaya. It's my college. But the class differentiation exists. The only thing, what, why I'm bringing those these facts are at that age when you're a student, all this affect you. मुझे तो ये नहीं आता है उसको सब कुछ आता है वो स्मार्ट है ठीक है स्मार्ट रहने दो आप अपना काम करो वो सब सीखने में ज्यादा कुछ तकलीफ नहीं होता है एवरीबडी लर्न इट इट्स ओनली अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम यू नो एंड व्हेन यू आर कमिंग अप इन दिस वे यू कैन फेस ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स फार बेटर देन द सो कॉल स्मार्ट पीपल यू कैन बी अ बेंजी और अ भाई साहब बट स्टिल यू कैन एक्सेल दर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑल दिस things you can learn and they teach you our college they got a aspt nearby that is army school of physical uh, some training they come and teach us so there's no problem but don't feel bad when somebody puts a finger at you this is part they are also young children they will make fun you have to take it life gives you lot of kicks you have to go around with the kicks and become stronger all these make you stronger not to give up are usne bola isne bola to hota hi rehta hai har cheez ka baatein hoti hai you should not feel bad about it okay it's very very important to face the world all uh, what you are learning in school is to face the world ba me to sabhi kar lenge but to face the world confidently and to inspire people that is very very difficult now coming to the religion oh my god that's a big thing in our country isn't it of course mahatma gandhi ji ne to gana gaya tha uh, uh, kya hindu muslim sikh isai sab hai bhai bhai but where is it happening i don't know but i'll tell the army example the first mbc of our country is brigadier mohammad usman okay this gentleman in the partition came he was in the baluch regiment he came to india and he was in the dogra regiment at that time pakistan was offering all thing they they were ready to give him the what you call chief post also what was equivalent there it was might have been but it stuck to our country even our own officers were doubtful of him he karega kya kya hoga he is called the lion of nowshera 
if he has not fought that 1947-48 war, our Kashmir, I don't know where it would have been. And he's and he's the one who introduced Jai Hind in 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 the Indian Army, Indian Armed Forces. You know, we always end with Jai Hind. This was the term used by, I mean, started by Brigadier Muhammad Usman. Is he a Muslim? Is he an Indian? Is he a Hindu? But he's an Indian. That is what is most important. We are all Indian. There is diversity in the country. We should feel very proud of that. And, and we should always say, I'm an Indian. But what is happening? I'm Madrasi, I'm Bengali, I'm Marathi. This is what is Indian is what is happening? God knows. First, we must say, I'm an Indian. I'm from South. I'm from West. I'm from East. Whatever you can be. But you are an Indian first. We are all Indians. The next one, the Paramvir Chakra. Who was that? Havildar Abdul Hamid. I don't know whether you have heard his name or not. Fauzi log sab jante hai. In the 1965 war, in the Cape Current sector, individually, he destroyed seven patent tanks. It's not easy. It's not a... And his, what is his name? Abdul Hamid. Okay. Because he's an Indian. When you are in uniform, the religion or a caste or a creed does not come at all. All we are all one. We are all Indians. This gentleman, I mean Havildar, he destroyed seven tanks, and while destroying the eighth one, he died himself. You know, in the army setup or the armed forces setup, especially in the army setup, if I'm commanding and my unit is in the, you know, say I'm a Muslim, but I'm in say some Dogra regiment or what or if some regiment, if I have to know the puja part, whatever they are doing. And I do it also. Similarly, the other way, we don't get religion into that. We are all really secular. The true term of secularism is there in our fauch. We don't go to ye, ye religion, a woe religion. Religion is at home. But when you come out, we are all the same. So we have got two bright examples, that of Brigadier Muhammad Usman and Havildar Abdul Hamid. They are Indians. And one civilian example, I'll tell you, my neighbor at Bangalore, he's a, what do you call it? He's a Muslim. The whole colony, they, when I used to talk to them or call them and all, they'll say, unse kyun baat karte ho? Toh musulm anam, toh kya hua? Hum sab ye ki toh hai. But they, they don't understand it that much. We held the open end ceremony of our son at Bangalore. He, these are the people who were there throughout the ceremony, the rest ate and went away. Nothing they did. Okay, they helped us so much until date when his son passes exam and he gets a job and all that. That gentleman calls me, Auntie, usko notary lag gaya. Kaisa hai, batao, dekke batao. You know, he considers me as a mother, as an elder. You know, that is what is important. Where does the religion come in here? Religion is something which you practice. It's a way for, it's a road for spirituality, but it doesn't divide us. We are all one, always one, and we are Indians. That is what you have to think of. Now, the next thing is gender. Oh my God, in India, things have changed a lot. You children won't know how it was in good old days, but things are improving. But it has to improve a lot. It is not something that is tick-tock. Tick-tock nahi hua hai, but pehle se bahut achcha hai. Now, what happens? During war, during 1917 war, uh, you heard that I got a VSM, isn't it? I mean, me and my husband. Do you know what the civilian ladies did? The ladies were their housewives. They were there outside in their chat pie. You know, the um, helicopters say the paratrooper drop karte na, un sakko pakad pakad ke, unko peet peet ke, hamara Air Force Station me laya, was a POW bane. But unko koi visa nahi diya, vir chakra nahi diya. But that is Nari Shakti. The gen the you people say the ladkya, women are scared and ye dark poke and all that. Those are the ladies who didn't have anything to do with the war. They could have very well slept inside, but they didn't do it. They came and helped us. And when I was all alone in the station, I was the only one. Okay, my six-month child was sent away because it's a non-family station at that point of time. No, we were living in the bunkers and all that. Every day they get nice food, mitai and all that. BBG akeliye, akeliye, bache ko chodya and all that. No, they took so much care. I don't think even the efforts would have taken so much care. Women are very, very powerful. Provided you give them a chance and respect them, not treat them differently. Men and
women are two sides of the coin. We have to be aage bad sakte hain. Kisi ek ko daba ke koi aage nahi bad sakta. Koi bhi nahi. I mean, aadmi ko daba ke aurat ne aage bad sakte hain. Aurat ko daba ke aadmi ne bad sakta. Dono ek hi hain. That you can see in Lord Shiva, Ardhana Rishwarup. They are both. If we are all together, then only India can improve. But this part of the country needs. I mean, that part of the country. I know there is a lot of respect for ladies because I grew up. I mean, I studied there almost ten years. I worked there also, Pune and all that. Whereas this part of the country needs lot of uh, improvement to takes place to understand the Nari Shakti part. You know, it's very very important. Now, but it is not all hanky dory. I'm doing a, a telemedicine. You you heard about it? Now the lady comes. कितने बच्चे हैं? दो बच्चे हैं, दो बच्चे हैं. But पीछे एक लटून आ रहा है, पीछे पीछे टिप 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 करके. ये लोग कौन हैं? वो तो लड़की हैं. Now what is लड़की? I don't understand. They are not children. This is how the differences come in right from day one. Okay? It's not correct. Don't differentiate. Today I think there is a good news. One CA final ka exam aaya hai. Both a brother and sister passed out. I really want to um, congratulate them. It's something very nice. The younger sister has topped, and the elder brother is from MP or something. The elder brother has got some tenth rank, eighteenth rank, or something like that. Don't differentiate. Ladki hai, kuch nahi chahiye, kuch nahi chahiye. Here I want to tell a lifetime example from Maharashtra only. I don't know the place. When I became an air commodore, uh, one child wrote to me. Was past her tenth class. I think her name was Vidya, if I'm not wrong. She said she wrote in Marathi. I can read because Devanagari script is. कुछ कुछ समझ भी आता है क्योंकि I lived in Pune. She wrote I passed my tenth uh, class. The college is ready to give me scholarship, but then because I got three brothers, my father doesn't want to send me. Please help me. Now I don't know what to do. I just didn't know. So I wrote a English in English. I wrote a letter to the college principal saying that please go to the parent, the father, explain to him if this child studies, she will help the other brothers also. She will be an example. She will be an inspiration. And I wrote in Hindi to the father. I'm sure he didn't read it or he might have thrown it in the dustbin. But बच्चे को पढ़ने देना. Then I forgot about the whole episode. After about five six years, one child came, one young lady came and touched my feet. Man, that phone her up. Then she said, "I'm Vidya. I'm computer engineer, and she's working in Delhi. Isn't that the greatest achievement? Why are we stopping just because you have got three brothers or four brothers? Who will read? Ye will read. Ye will read. Ye will read. But the basic thing is, what do you want to read? What do you want to read? That's not correct. Okay. In here, I must say, Indian Air Force has never differentiated anybody, girl or a boy. You have to work. If there's a duty, you have to do it. If there is a war, you have to play war. Nobody has put me down. Nobody has elated me. Nobody has molly coddled me. You have to do your duty as much as any other officer does it. Okay, na? I mean, I fought in the seventy-one war. I fought the Kargil war. But the most important thing is that we are treated. Equally, there is no differentiation. I think it is the best workplace which you can have in the whole. At least the Indian scenario. I don't know about others, but one place I did find the difference when I became the first aviation medicine specialist. I used to go to the pilot. आपको कोई तकलीफ है? No, 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 no. But they will tell my wife is having this, my child is having that. I said, यार आपको तकलीफ तो बताओ. Nobody will say. I understood they will never say that. So I started flying in their aircraft, fly in the fighters. Then I understood. Or then when they realized. I'm flying also. Then I became their boy, you know, uh, my boy syndrome. Then they started talking to me because it's a, I was new. I mean, for them it was a rare phenomena that a lady came, I mean, lady came, old lady and all that, you know. So it's difficult. It took some time, but then it was sorted out. It was all very, very nice. Uh, I think. Even today, I find the best place, if at all anybody has to work, is Indian Air Force. I would like you all. Many of your uh, seniors have joined the armed forces. It's the best place. लड़की हो, लड़का हो, इंजीनियर हो, डॉक्टर हो या ना हो, please join the armed forces. A real secure feeling. You will get it. Before I last word, I want to say is my own family. Talk about national integration. My introduction, you know, I am from down south and uh, married a Bengali who is from a what you call the Bangladesh now what is called Bangladesh. Okay, they settled in UP. 
and uh, our children elder one is married a punjabi girl and the younger one is married a french girl so i think it is international integration we are no problem except that i have coffee in the morning the another one has tea in the morning the third one has got orange juice in the morning otherwise basically it's all the same little little things will change but human is one everybody whether you are from uh, america or africa or europe or india we are all the same it is just a little understanding where understand one another their culture you will understand you know it's not that difficult and it is on your young shoulders this responsibility is there we have done our bit your school is doing so much your jp school is doing so much but you have to prove each one of you have to prove and do this then our nobody can stop our country from reach the heights whatever heights it has to reach it can do very very well provided we remove all these chukubukru differences you know these differences are creating the problems we we let us do our bit let us not blame others i do not know the answers what should we do with the caste system i really do not know the answers maybe you can guide me maybe all of us can put together the religious divide why is it there i do not know religion is a rasta to reach spirituality like so many uh, roads are there to reach a place so similarly there is another road so why are we to fight with one another not required everyone follow their own route and we can reach the destination without harming anybody what is the most important thing the human values मनुष्यता होना चाहिए ह्यूमन वैल्यूज नहीं चाहिए होना चाहिए रेस्ट इज ऑल कलर करने के माफी है बेसिक थिंग इज रेस्पेक्ट वन अनदर हेल्प वन अनदर व्हेन दे नीड इट एंड बी हैप्पी बी पॉजिटिव एंड लिव लाइफ एज अ बिग फैमिली इट इज अ संस्कृत व्हिच हैज गिवन दैट वर्ड वसुदैव कुटुंबकम बट देन वी आर ब्रेकिंग इट नॉट अ वसुदैव नॉट इवन स्ट्रीट वाइज वी आर ब्रेकिंग इन टू स्मॉलर 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 Uh, bits you know let us not do it let us unite that is my only prayer to all of you and you are the youngsters you are the future of this country you have to take it up of course um, my friend uh, he is doing it your college school is doing it but all of us have to do it it is not ek aadmi se nahi hoga sab log miljul ke kaam karenge tabhi ho sakta hai akele mein koi bhi kuch bhi nahi kar sakta we have to break all the so called barriers and reach the national integration i'll conclude here and i wish you all the very best in all your future endeavors and once again i'm a humble thanks and a great honor for me to be with you all thank you jai hind thank you padma ji for your wonderful deliberation and the examples from the armed forces life and the civilian life were really beautiful we have seen a real sharp mind taking multiple aspects of national integration and the challenges to this integration into consideration in a very short span of time our students also have a lot of questions to ask to you we will try to take some of them uh, we will start with Uh, some who are uh, present on zoom uh, sarvesh from fifth standard i would like to uh, i would request you to ask both your questions to padma ji yes yes um namaste ma'am i am sarvesh shivaji kolle from standard 5th um मेरा यह प्रश्न है कि आप उत्तरी ध्रुव में रिसर्च के लिए गए थे तो क्या आप कृपया उसके बारे में कुछ बता सकते हैं क्या जरूर बताऊंगी आपको मुझे बहुत खुशी होती है बेटा ऐसा है हमारा देश में उत्तरी ध्रुव गए क्यों इसलिए कि हमारे देश में जहाँ ठंड होता है वो सब बहुत हाइट में है है ना जैसे हिमालय पर्वत में हमारे देश में सी लेवल में कोई ठंडी जगह नहीं है और हमारा सोल्जर यूएन में काम कर रहा है समझ लो उसको साइबेरिया पोस्टिंग हो गया तो कैसा जाएगा 
है ना उसको तकलीफ होगा उसके लिए क्या चाहिए हमें पता करना है ठीक है कि नहीं और हम लोगों को ना जब चार दिन बारिश होती है ना सर्वेश अच्छा नहीं लगता क्योंकि सूर्य का रोशनी हमें देखने को अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि हम लोग ट्रॉपिकल लोग हैं हमें सूर्य अच्छा लगता है तो वहां तो सूर्य आता ही नहीं है छह महीना अंधकार है अंधकार में रहना पड़ेगा ठीक है तो हम गया था उनके लिए कैसा कपड़ा चाहिए कैसा खाना चाहिए पहला वो लोग वहां रह सकते कि नहीं हमारा सोल्जर वहां रख सकते कि नहीं या बीमार पड़ेंगे या दिमाग गोल हो जाएगा या कुछ गड़बड़ होगा क्योंकि ठंड में फ्रॉस्ट होता है फ्रॉस्ट बाइट हो जाता है उंगली उंगलियां सब निकल जाता है सो यू टू बी वेरी केयरफुल तो हमें इसी क्या रिसर्च के लिए गया था कि हमारा सोल्जर वहां रह सकता कि नहीं और रह सकता है तो कितना दिन के बाद वो काम कर सकता है और जब वापस आएगा कितना दिन के बाद वो फिर मैंने अपना देश का माफी बन जाएगा ठीक है ना पर इसका मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ये निकला कि उनका अच्छा कपड़ा अच्छा जो स्पेशल खाना स्पेशल कपड़ा वगैरह देख के अक्लोमेटिस कर दें हमारा लोग वहां रह सकते हैं और काम कर सकते हैं अच्छी तरह से तीन हफ्ते के बाद ठीक है ना पहले लोग सोच रहे थे कि हम लोग वहां जाके ठंड में नहीं काम कर सकते पर हम लोग अच्छी तरह लड़ाई कर सकते हैं तीन हफ्ते के बाद ठीक स्पेशल ट्रेनिंग करना पड़ेगा ये नहीं कि हम नहीं कर सकते है सर्वेश ठीक है आंसर ठीक है ना तो हम आपसे सीखेंगे मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है बच्चों से सीखना ठीक है सर्वेश गुड आई लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम यू ओके बेटा थैंक यू मैम थैंक यू बेटा Uh, Sarvesh, you had another question. You can ask. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, मेरा दूसरा प्रश्न ये है कि आपने 1971 का युद्ध देखा है, तो उसमें आपकी पोस्टिंग कहाँ थी और आपका एक अनुभव बता सकते हैं क्या? या या. मैं 1971 में uh, हलवारा एक जगह है लुधियाना डिस्ट्रिक्ट में पंजाब में मैं वहां थी वो फॉरवर्ड हॉस्पिटल है मैंने फील्ड एरिया से सब जगह डॉक्टर नहीं हो सकते ना लड़ाई के टाइम पे वो सब हमारे ही पास आएंगे हम पहला हॉस्पिटल था ठीक है ना तब हम सिर्फ एमबीबीएस थे हमें कुछ ज्यादा नहीं पता था और हम लोग ऑलमोस्ट दो साल से अंडरग्राउंड uh, एक साल अंडरग्राउंड बंकर में रहते थे अलग अलग अपना अपना मैं अपना मेडिकल असिस्टेंट के साथ रहती थी ठीक है ना तो तब खाना पीना भी वहीं से आता था घर गर, तो हम जाते ही नहीं थे कोई भी नहीं जाता था जाना ही अलाउड नहीं है उस टाइम क्या हुआ जब पहला दिन तीन तारीख को दिसंबर को शुरू हुआ पांच तारीख को दो सौ पेशेंट आ गया हम सिर्फ अकेले डॉक्टर कोई अनेस्थेटिस्ट नहीं कुछ भी नहीं है कुछ भी नहीं है ठीक है और क्या करें करना तो है पेशेंट तो पेशेंट होता है तो उसमें से सारे सीरियस नहीं थे सौ को तो पट्टी वट्टी इंजेक्शन देके बेच दिया बट और बीस का बहुत ही हालत खराब था पैर में यू नो गन शॉट ऊंड लग गया है जल गए हैं उनका क्या करें नहीं तो उनका इन्फेक्शन चढ़ के मर जाएगा तो हमने पेट्रोमैक्स लाइट में उनका पैर काटा एम्पुटेशन किया हम सर्जन नहीं है हिम्मत आ जाता है जब लड़ाई के टाइम पे अपने आप हिम्मत आता है मनुष्य को नहीं काटे तो बेचारा मर जाएगा ना कम से कम उसको फिर एक आर्टिफिशियल लिम लेके चल सकता है कि नहीं कम से कम अपना हाथ पैर तो चला सकता है इसलिए हमने बीस आदमी का ये किया था अप्रोक्सीमेटली uh, फिर उनको हम दिल्ली भेज दिया आप बेस हॉस्पिटल दिल्ली कैंप भेज दिया फिर मैंने फॉलोअप किया छह महीने के बाद वो लोग पुणे गए आपका आर्टिफिशियल लिम सेंटर है ना ए एल सी आपका पुणे में ही है वहां जाके उनको लिम लगा फिर वो लोग चल फिर सकते ऑफकोर्स फौज से निकल गए बट वो चल फिर सकते हैं तो हमने हमें बहुत काम करना पड़ा क्योंकि हमें अकेली डॉक्टर थी नॉट ओनली दैट बहुत जब जब सायरन बच जाएगा गाड़ी के अंदर नो गाड़ी के नीचे सड़क जाना है तो पहले दिन मुझे बहुत मुश्किल लगा क्योंकि साड़ी से साड़ी पहन के नीचे घुसना बहुत मुश्किल होता है ना तो हमारा ए बोले कि तुम जाके पैंट शर्ट पहनो तो उस पैंट शर्ट बदल के ईजी हुआ कि चलते हुए गाड़ी के नीचे घुसना पड़ेगा जब सायरन बजता है नो बट इट्स एक्सपीरियंस सब कुछ सीखना पड़ता है ना तभी तो जिंदा रहोगे नहीं सीखोगे तो कैसे जिंदा रहोगे बट ये जो मैंने एम्पुटेशन किया इट इज वेरी टफ वेरी वेरी टफ हम तो भगवान का नाम लेके कर रहे थे पर मुझे कुछ ज्यादा पता नहीं था स्टूडेंट डेज में जो किया कुछ सीखा बट हम सर्जन नहीं थे ना थोड़ा डर लगती थी तब फिर तो सीख लिया है ना सर्वेश पर हमें Uh, हर समय में मैं इसलिए बोल रही हूँ हमारे अंदर जोश होना चाहिए काम को करना चाहिए हमें नहीं आता करके नहीं छोड़ना है कुछ करके हमें खत्म काम को कंप्लीट करना है वो जोश होना बहुत जरूरी है तुम लोगों के अंदर वो जोश आना चाहिए ओके बेटा ठीक है ओके मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सर्वेश थैंक यू यस 
uh, we have couple of questions from uh, Ishan Karawa in standard 10 uh, i'll read out the first question uh, what is the best way a common man or a civilian can contribute in national integration uh, i feel ma'am you have answered a lot of it in your talk itself but would you like to add something to it first of all let us first understand each one is same don't differentiate between caste, creed, color, basha, uh, kya pool lagaya nahi, sab chhod do. Hum sab manushya hai. Let us all look at one another as a brother and sister. Then if possible, help. If not possible, at least don't uh, make, uh, you know, majak mat udao. And jitna ho sake, help karo. If a child is weak, your colleague, you teach him. See, alone karke koi bhi jeet nahi sakta. Oh, e gana ta na, purana filmi gana. Saati Heart badana. He, one helps other. That is national integration. The th second one helps the third one. But we are divided with all this superficiality. Uh, be, being a doctor, I know, is king ke baad, sab barabar hai. Koi difference nahi hai. So why are they fighting? And what are we are fighting for? So isko chodo, have a broad mind. We are the ones who talk about vasudaiva kutumbakam. Then why are we not behaving like that? Let us behave also like that. Okay. That's the only way. You will be meeting colleagues from various states. Each one will have, like in AFMC event, that was after 62, you know, khana itna ek, ek katori chawal milta tha hume. Ek so bis katori. But jo people from Kerala and Bengal, they only eat chawal. They don't eat atta at all, roti at all. So all of us, all the hundred of us, we used to send the chawal to them. Initially, because we are from Delhi, we, we used to eat roti, we are used to it. So gradually they learn to eat I mean, roti. It takes time, a new thing, no? but you should not make them chawal kata. That's not fair. That's how we have to grow up. No? Each one should help one another. That is national integration, nothing else. Okay? That's all about it. And if you go to the first place, you will learn to learn to learn to learn. Okay, beta. Yes. Ishan, uh, you had another question, so you can ask. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, uh, Ishan. The question is, uh, what is the saddest and happiest incident in your term as an air marshal? What? What did What is your saddest and happiest incident as okay. an air marshal? Okay. The saddest is the tsunami which hit India, the southeastern coast. Nagar Koil and all, uh, Tamil Nadu and all, you know, I mean, all the trees went away. We have to arrange for the CASU Act. We have to arrange for the uh, people to be uh, treated, you know. So it was very difficult. It was very, very difficult, you know. That was the, uh, not sad, I won't say. It was a challenge. Now, what are the good moments, you ask me? I'll again answer. As uh, I mean, we did a lot of things for our officers and men. Naturally, they are my brothers and sisters. Okay, na? Kai course banaya, or Jorhat Hospital me, Naya Wing Kola for the pilots to get that medical done. Otherwise, they all had to come to Delhi. Every time you can't come to Delhi. Abhi dekha na? Covid me kya hua? Kahan kahin ja sake? Or airmen ka course banaya, they so that when they retire, they can join a hospital for the future, you know? And uh, we did all this work which gave you, you know, when you are the head, you should look after, like your father looks after all of you, isn't it? Similarly, I was the father for the uh, you know, medical services. I have to look after, I'm the mother, whatever you call it, no? So this is what I did for my officers, for my pilots, for my uh, airmen, and for the family. Every station I started the, you know, physical uh, exercise program, what you call gym gym type, you know. Because ladies gym gym jate nahi hai. Ghar mein baitke roti alu khate rehte hai. Wo bhi gym karna bhoot jaruri hai. Unka bhi health thik rahe to to admi achcha kush kaam karega na. Unke liye bhi gym kola taki they can go outside, you know, in the camp itself, a specific time and they feel shy. Ki kaise karenge sabke saamne, to unke a special time. I said that it bought kuchu kam kia for the Air Force personnel. That is my happiest moment. The tsunami I'll never forget. It was a hard work. It was almost like war. We had to fight as if we are fighting a war. And there are a lot of casualties also. That was sad. That's Thank nice. you, ma'am. Okay, we, we have someone who is asking from here uh, physically present. Please come. Uh, hello, ma'am. I'm Chaitanya Sonane from ninth grade. Uh, I wanted to ask if uh, we would be better off if we were forced to like uh, forget about the caste differences and like how Robespierre did in 1793. 
क्या बोलो बेटा I wanted to ask if we would be uh, better off if we were forced to like uh, forget about our differences. Yeah, and... you, you should be exposed, and the best way right from childhood, I mean right from home, these differences should not be talked about. And uh, the one of the best places, of course, Fauj and the Fauj. We don't have any differences. Okay, the school also should get pitch pitch in and teach you all these things. Right at home, right at uh, uh, school, college, everywhere. These differences should not be brought up and made uh, complications. You know, then only we we'll learn. We can't learn it in one day. Right from birth, we have to be taught these things that everybody is same. Then only things will work out. You know, right from home, right. Right from school, right from college, and your workspace, you have to work, and we are all equal. Then only these barriers will break down. And if you are cooped up, like which we are, ये community इसी के अंदर हम शादी करेंगे, यहाँ से वहाँ नहीं जाएंगे, ये कार गड़बड़ है. If you keep on within your community, वो क्या बोलता है? Mendak, Mendak का माफ़ी, कुआं के Mendak के माफ़ी रहेंगे. We can never go ahead. Okay ना? So you have to expose yourself, read. behave then only we learn it there is no mantra to overcome we all have to work for it then only you can overcome it okay beta thanks ma'am thank you we will take just last couple of questions uh, sudeeksha from standard 10th has a few questions but i would just request her to ask one of them yes sudeeksha hello ma'am my name is sudeeksha yes i study in 10th standard you are truly an inspiration for all of us my Thank question you. for you is uh, choosing a career nowadays is being very difficult so what should one's thought process be to take the right decision and stay firm on it okay now if i am your parent okay now parents bahut topte hain you must have felt it especially wo doctor engineer hote na wo suppose ye doctor engineer nahi bana ya bana wo wahi banana chahte hain bachchon ko it is not necessary at all jo tumko what is your passion that is most important You know, you have to convince your parents. So, I will put you in the medical college. Then, if we fail, it will not pass. I will not pass. Because I feel good. Every one should feel good. It is not necessary. You may like painting. You may like to play piano. You may excel in that. The the parents also should understand. It is not one sided. It is both sided. Parents as well as children. You must convince on your passion. Like right from childhood, I wanted to be a doctor. Though I didn't know how to become a doctor. You laugh at me. You know what my subjects were in my pre. I mean in my school, English, economics, history, Tamil, Sanskrit. That's it. And I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay, but I didn't know, you know. उन दिनों का अलग कहानी है लड़कियों को पढ़ाते नहीं थे वो अलग बात है. Today you can't give that excuse. You have to convince your parents that this is my passion. I'll do very well. तुम जबरदस्ती हमें medical college भेजेगा, engineering college भेजेगा, हम fail होते रहेगा. That's what will happen. It has happened. Many of my colleagues put their children in the child who doesn't want to do it. Then it will be a total failure. So you are you convinced that it is your passion? that is most important if you are convinced this is my passion i'll work 24 hours for this then you can tell your parents but if you are not convinced when a lotta ka maafi yahan bhi girega wahan bhi girega tab to jo parents bolta wo le lo but if you are 100% sure that is your profession whatever it may be and no profession is chota mota everything is equal provided you excel nothing is less you can be a useless doctor also every doctor is not good every engineer is not good hai ki na jo bhi karoge acha karo usko jaan laga ke karo that's where you can excel not otherwise aisa jo bol raha wo dost gayi hai main bhi us dost ke paas jaungi aisa nahi karega tab you can't excel okay it is your passion your profession your career okay beta so that that is the mantra there is no other mantra okay yes, thank you ma'am okay Thank you, ma'am. We'll take just last question. The question is from a youth wing volunteer of Jnana Prabodhini. Uh, the question is: According to you, what exactly is the significance of women empowerment in national integration? See, we are fifty percent women. Okay. Now, uh, today the word has come as women empowerment. Okay. Unless, first of all, educational level is very poor, which 
don't compare Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, or Kerala. Okay, come to the northern states. You know it's quite poor. Now we have to improve. At least I'm not talking about MBA and all that. I'm just talking tenth class. Utna kana changuta chap nee hona chahiye. That's the first thing. Then they should have all empowerment. Even I do not know what are my judicial, uh, uh, you know, things which I'm capable of. I do not know those things. You know, so judicial empowerment should be there. Political empowerment. Yes. We are supposed to have political empowerment. Are we truly empowered politically? हमारे पास वोट है, एक का वोट है, एक का वोट है. I think we must have been the first country to give votes to women. But how do we vote? मेरा बतीजा का, चाचा का, बेटा का उसने बोला कि उनको वोट करना, हम उसको वोट कर रहे. Do anybody know whom are we voting for? None of us know. We don't know them. We don't. We have. We don't use it properly. Similarly, economic empowerment should be there. They should be capable of earning on their own, standing on their own legs. Once you do all these things, automatically women empowerment and they'll they'll be contributing to the society and the national integration. Now, I'll give you a small example. Some, not a high caste, some other caste. Let us say, if the child is an IIT girl, let us say. Hundred boys will line up to marry her. Automatically, you have broken down the caste barrier. Otherwise, they'll say, "Ye caste nahi hai, wo nahi hai, color nahi hai, bhi hai, wo dunya bhar ka." Sab breakdown ho jata hai. So, what we require is basically a, at least a basic education, and they, they must know a skill to stand on their own legs. Then they will get really empowered and able to talk. Abhi to ek paisa nahi kamar hai, to admi daru pi kya ke pitai karta hai, to ye to ho nahi hai. So you don't have the system. So this is where the empowerment will come. They have to be economically independent, and education also should be there. If not high level, chota mota dust class to hona chahiye. Minimum. That's my view. We would want to continue this session for too long. Yeah. But keeping an eye on the clock, I think Correct. we will have to stop the question answers yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I request. Air Vice Marshal Kiran Parsule, sir, to uh, sum up the session and say word of thanks. Kiran sir has himself be sir, served in the Indian Air Force at the rank of Air Vice Marshal, and after the service, now he also keeps motivating and guiding the volunteers of Nana Prabodhini throughout uh, the, his duration in the in the Prabodhini itself. So, Kiran sir, I request you to say the thanks. thank you viraj uh, my friends it is not every day that we get an opportunity to in <clears throat> interact with an iconic figure of such a stature actually as students of jp you are actually fortunate to come across a number of celebrities politicians successful people famous people knowledgeable people etc yet it is not every day that you come across someone who can be seen as a role model it has been our privilege today to have air marshal bandopadhyay ma'am amongst us who i am sure has inspired many a young mind today in this short discourse she has devoted herself in social work after her retirement from the after the glorious career in the indian air force and it was indeed very kind of her to spare time from her extremely busy schedule for us i hear that she was in nainital yesterday and she had to come back to delhi to uh, ensure that she interacts with us today but there was a landslide and she missed her train but then she took a cab all the way from there and made sure she was available for us and that is the kind of commitment she has shown always in every endeavor that she has been undertaking throughout her life i'm sure today we have learned a lot of things through her eyes and through her experience and uh, we understood various needs and her thoughts about 
national integration she also told us how she held fast to her values throughout the difficulties that she experienced in her career an example will help our young friends to derive strength from it and remain strong whenever whenever the going gets tough i am particularly happy that she brought out the genesis of the word jai hind i admit i was not aware of it myself thank you for that ma'am i will not forget it and i'm sure i will i'll try to share this bit of information with whosoever i can another one wonderful thing she has uh, told us is the pursuit of excellence be it national integration be it own career or be it social service whatever you want to do unless you pursue excellence there is no way forward that is what one of the biggest takeaways i feel from her today's talk to us i'm really glad that we reached out to her for this particular event and uh, i'm also very happy that she obliged ma'am we are truly grateful that you could interact with us albeit through a virtual medium but uh, i hope this is a beginning of an association that will last even longer and we will have your blessings and your guidance available for the jp in the future thank you very much ma'am padma ji this is milin again i would like to invite you uh, to nyana prabodhini in person whenever you visit pune or uh, may uh, we may arrange a special visit also so thank you once again we would be concluding the ceremony with the prayer i request everyone to stand up सदान प्रार्थना की घेता व्रत नहे आम्ही अंध ते लब्ध प्रकाश इतिहास निसर्ग माने जे दिव्यदाह कमणोनी असावयाचे बुद्ध्या शिवाण धरिले करी हे 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 सती से भारत माता की जय नवाय फॉर्मली कंक्लूड द प्रोग्राम थैंक यू एवरीवन